Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and I'm ready for this part. It is part four of Let's Play The Sims for Barbie in season two and we've uh, left off getting ready to have Ruby's uh, very Ruby garden gnome's birthday party, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little bit random, but we decided to go with the red theme and Barbie's pretty upset that Margie won't be here for the birthday. Uh, but you know what, that's okay, that's okay. I'm really pumped to record this part because I'm uh, I'm just back from the US and I haven't recorded an LP for a week and whenever I don't record, I feel really weird. <laughs> I don't know, recording such a big part of my life now that I just feel, it's, it's like a daily routine that I need to do to feel normal. So I'm glad to be back. And in the last part of this, you guys, I'm pretty sure, like broke my comment record on a video. I don't know, but it was a lot of comments. There was 1,149 comments to read and they were all really mostly about what kind of sim you guys thought Ruby would be, what her personality is going to be like when she ages up. So I was thrilled to read them. Uh, it was so cool. Uh, we might get Ken to stop mourning Margie as well. Um, they're just gonna have a little sleepies. Oh, she's still feeling a little bit upset. And uh, hopefully when the kids get home from school, we'll, we'll have a little bit of a party. Uh, but yeah, some of the comments that stood out um, was Annalise said that she imagined Ruby to be a little bit uh, more old glam Hollywood. Oh, Diamond's work is being critiqued for the first time and the response is especially harsh. Should she get defensive and try to explain her thought process or quietly take notes and try to do better in the future? I think she would defend her art. Amethyst's last math test was not her best work. She got a so-so grade, which could really bring down her average. Should she ask to do some extra credit or just try hard to get a perfect grade next time? Mm. Let's do some extra credit. What just happened? Uh, oh, she lost some performance and Amethyst gained some performance. So that's great. Oh, little diamond over here. All right, let's give her a breastfeed, all natural, maybe a little bit of a bounce, maybe make a silly face. And uh, we really want them to be in a really nice mood. So get him to go over there. Uh, so yeah, I really liked the idea of her maybe growing up to be a bit old Hollywood glam. And a lot of you guys thought that she would either be mean or a bit of a serial romantic. Uh, that's what Kara said. Cherry Hart said she thinks she would be a bit of a mummy and daddy's girl being the youngest, but she also wants a lot of attention. Uh, so it was very interesting to read the comments. A lot of you guys also thought uh, that she kind of, I don't know, you guys drew references to Laurie and Esmeralda in my Twins LP. So a lot of you guys think she should have a lot of attitude being the youngest and want a lot of attention. So that should be a bit of fun. Alrighty. Ken's in bed. He's just sleeping, sleeping a little bit more. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And, uh, oh, actually one thing that we do need to do. Yeah, we really need to fix up some of the bedrooms because I think you guys were saying Amethyst has outgrown her room. We don't really need this anymore and we're going to need a new bedroom for Ruby. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we, I don't know. I don't mind Amethyst's room. We could knock down this wall though and make it a big room and then have Ruby down here. Let's do that. Let's just do a little bit of building, shall we? Uh, so, Oh, I really want to have get together right now because I would love to be like using all the new build and buy mode objects because it's awesome. Uh, I'm really excited for you guys to get to play it yourselves or at least to see some gameplay of it when uh, I do get it. But I was in San Francisco for the last uh, four days and I got to give it a bell. It was really, really fun. You know what, maybe we should keep some of this. Uh, and I think it's a great expansion pack. You can watch my review videos if you would like to. Um, I've done an interview with a producer and screenshot walk through as well as some video gameplay. Uh, all right, so let's maybe put this over here. 
that over there. And we're also probably not going to need two doors. So let's get rid of that one. Amethyst room's looking really purple and girly. And I feel like she's a little bit more edgier. So I'm going to make some changes in a second. Oh, we need the move objects on cheat, don't we? Let's see. BB dot move objects on. Okay. Bookshelf over there. Books over there. Oh, I like how in the new update the books, like the objects you've lifted up using the nine and zero key, they don't just drop to the ground like they used to. Uh, do we want this? I don't think I want that. I like these posters staying on the wall though. That's kind of cool. Maybe we can put this against the wall over here. Is it just me or is this room kind of dark? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're going to need some matching lights. So let's put a couple of these around the place. I think, I think this is a really dark room, so I wouldn't mind getting the get to work light. This one's really bright. There we go. Just lighten it up a little bit. Ah, much better. We have the guitar over here. All right, so all the kids are a little bit spoilt these days, aren't they? I like the idea of this being a wooden wall. Mm, actually, that's too much too much. Let's take that back. Do something along those lines and maybe just that area. Cool. Capish, capish. Uh, that's what my one of my teachers in high school used to say. They'd be like, capish? I never really had heard it anywhere else before. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> we could do something along these lines. Like, I never know what this word, this is called, but I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of also really not cool though, because it's old school. Well, maybe we'll keep the purple. We'll keep it for a little while longer, I think. Hmm. Someone actually mentioned that she should have a more of an old school bed, I think a couple of episodes ago. So let's get maybe... Nah, maybe this one. From Margie's uh, trust fund. <laughs> the deep purple is quite nice. Mm, green. I think that kind of ties in the wood though. The wood here, so let's maybe go with that. Oh no, all of those objects got deleted. Oh, that's a sign just to get rid of them, I think. It'd be nice if we could put a curtain or something up. Let's see. That one's a little bit of an overkill. <laughs> we could do something like this. Do you guys feel like that bed's a little bit old for her, so we should go the purple? That's what I'm feeling. What colors down here? Do we have any little plain wallpapers? Do something more like that and then have plum on the wall, perhaps. Like a deeper amethyst for a change. We'll give it a go. Maybe we can... Mm -mm. It's always hard when you put in pillars only in one room. Because it, then you're almost changing the look and feel of the, the house. So then you have to put in pillars everywhere. So we won't do that. I don't know, you guys. I, I don't know about that curtain. I don't think it's really working... 
You can put this one up, maybe. Ooh, I'd love to make this a full poster if we can. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Make this look kind of pretty. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure she'll be able to get into the bed. There's a bit of a trick with getting this to cooperate. Oh, that was so close. Yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Please don't... Oh. Don't snap to the wall. We've got it on a diagonal. All right, Deli's concentrating right now. Let's see, let's spin it like this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. We might have to do it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so she's got a nice four poster thing going on, even though there's no posts, but we'll imagine that there are kind of posts in there. And then we can maybe put a nice mirror above her bed. That's pretty. She doesn't really have bedside tables. We probably need them though. And we'll go the more old school look. Mm, don't know about that. Could we do lighter ones? To match the walls. We do want to tie in a couple of lighter colors, so we'll do that. Oh, we won't put one there. We'll just put one in the other corner. Just maybe an extra lamp can be on there. Ba -ba, ba -da -da, ba -ba. So I've just gone ahead and extended Amethyst's room. So obviously there's this lovely kind of, uh, what am I doing? I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, this lovely deep purple theme going on in her room with the lighter colors to keep it not, uh, not as like dark and dingy as I think it could be. Um, 
I don't know if we should lock the kids' doors or not. Um, but anyways, and then we have Ruby's room here. So she's got a lot of red going on. Red's her favorite color. She has a thing for garden gnomes and she loves ladybugs. They're her favorite animal because, um, because, because they are red and she loves them. So that's going to be Ruby's room. Uh, yeah, cool beans. I'm having difficulty with controls today. All right. So Bobby, I, I think Bobby's feeling really sad because, you know, she's, she doesn't want to see her kids age up, you know? Uh, so she's just struggling along, I think. Um, like, her kids are getting older. She just wants to keep having babies. But Barbie can't have babies, like, forever. Although I think we should still have twins. We should still... How many kids we have now? One, two, three, four, five. I'm losing count. Five, six, seven. It would be cool to actually have ten kids. I would love that. That would be awesome. Ken, can you, Ken, can you get up? Ken's boss, oh, I didn't realize he was at work. Oh, he's gonna miss the birthday party. What's he doing? Go to work, go to work. I work two to 10 p.m. Yeah, he's gonna miss the party, but that's all right. That's cool beans. All right, let's just move little baby Ruby out to the party party area. Over here. Excellent. Over there. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Are you stinking? You're stinking up a storm, girl. Alright, quickly change the dirty diaper. Give her some attention. Bounce. And, uh... Okay, Barbie's feeling pretty good. I'm happy about that. Let's just get her outside quickly. Ameth is done with school. Lovely. So we've got to make sure that these guys have their their moods of feeling okay. Oops. <laughs> Gem's looking a bit tired after school. Oh, Ameth's taking a selfie in her hippie wear. I love her style. I, I really do. And, uh... All right, Amethyst is in need of some fun, so she will have fun soon. And Diamond's feeling angry because she got called an insulting nickname. Oh, my gosh. All right, I say that we start the party at five when she's home. So for now, these guys should... Actually, how are their grades going? Gem's a... Wow, Gem's... Gem is just doing fabulously, isn't he not? Oh, my gosh. He's bored after school, so I reckon let's just go. let's invite a friend over. Actually, let's get Honey over. His lady friends. Get her to come around. She can attend the party. Topaz is in need of some food and hygiene, so we'll get him to take a shower. Okay, Honey's on her way. Amethyst is playing a computer game. Oh, so sweet. Just going to get a hug from Topaz. But uh, didn't we get him? Yeah, he's going to have a man bath. Good stuff. Let's see. What what friends does Amethyst have? Her and Topaz are really, really close. Oh, Gustus. Oh, my gosh. Imagine if she ended up getting with James. Crazy. I wish I'd show their age in this panel. All right, let's uh, ask about Woohoo Brighton Day. Sounds good. We need to make you some friends, girl. Let's invite Presley over. All right. Oh, Jem, he is such a player. Of course, he's going to be in his little towel and... Ooh, selecting a mission. Ken's offered the chance to choose his team's next mission. He can either send his astronauts on a high-stakes mission to the outer reaches of space, or he can send them on an easy information-gathering run close to home. Uh, oh, let's go high-stakes. Oh, performance loss small. Damn. Damn. I love how much of a player he is. He just happens to come out in his towel. So funny. <laughs> Oh, no. Monkey around. Ask for a Swedish massage. <laughs> yes, he 
He totally would ask. Bluffy. Let's greet our soon-to-be friends. What is with these Swedish massages? And who's about guitar solo? Get to know. It's got his favorite authors. Shall we get a little bit of flirt on? Ask to be girlfriends. Oh, ooh, ooh, kiss neck. Yeah, kiss neck. We should get them to mess around at the party. What a day of work. Diamond's back. She's probably in a really bad mood. I oh, know, she's okay. Thought it would be a lot worse. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just asks girls to give him massages. Little player gem. All right, you guys, let's have a party. 